When dealing with word problems, there are three steps that we have to take in order to solve the question. Our first step is to organize the information given to us. Our second step is to plan the solution. And our third step is to answer the question in a sentence. So let's start off by reading the question so we can organize our information. A large box of cereal contains 750 grams. An average serving is 50 grams. There are three people in Jose's family. Each of them has one serving of cereal a day. How many grams of cereal would that be? How many days would the box of cereal last them? So let's first start off by organizing our information. We have a box of cereal that contains a total of 750 grams. We know that an average serving is 50 grams per serving, and there are three people in the family. So now let's plan our solution to answer the first question. If each of them has one serving of cereal a day, how many grams of cereal would that be? So we know that there are three people in the family and they each have a serving a day. So that means there are going to be three servings in total for the day. So our units are going to be three servings per day. And now we need to find how many grams of cereal that would be. We know that there are 50 grams per serving, so we're going to multiply that by 50 grams per serving. Now by setting it up this way, we can see that our units of servings cancel out, and we're left with our units of grams per day. So 3 times 50 gives us 150, and that our units are grams per day. So the family consumes 150 grams of cereal per day. Now let's move on toward the second part. How many days would the box of cereal last them? So we know that there are 750 grams of cereal per box. So let's write that out as 750 grams of cereal. Now we are going to divide that by the answer that we just saw for above. So now we divide that by 150 grams per day. Another way of writing out this problem is to write it as a multiplication problem. See, we had 750 grams, and we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal of 150 grams per day. And as we can see, our units of grams cancel out, and we're just left with our units of days. And 750 divided by 150 gives us 5 days. But going back to our division over here, we can see that 750 grams divided by 150 grams per day gives us the same answer of 5 days. So you can set up the problem either way. I prefer the second way though because it shows you how your units cancel out. So now that we have our two answers of 150 grams per day and 5 days, we have to put our answer in the form of a sentence, which can look something like this. We have the family eats 150 grams of cereal a day and the box will last 5 days. We have our units of grams in days and we have answered our question in the form of a sentence. So therefore, we are done with our word problem.